Hello and welcome. This is Poker Bob. We have a big Sunday afternoon planned for you. It's going to be a good one. This is part two of the 200k trilogy, as I like to call it. We begin a quest not too long ago, a couple days ago, to um, qualify for the $200,000 guaranteed $162 buy-in um, multi-table tournament on Ignition. First crack at it, Trilogy Part 1, did not go quite as planned. We tried to cash our way or win enough cash in order to qualify. Um, we ended up losing a buy-in. Really lost it right at the last minute. We were on our last couple hands before the big blind. We were about even, maybe down five or ten bucks, and then uh, picked up pocket queens and uh, got smoked by pocket kings. Um, this is now part two of the trilogy. As you can see, we're about to get rolling here in about 20 seconds. Um, this will be part two, where we play a $20 satellite, technically $19.18, um, to try to win a seat into the event. If we fail to do so, we will buy our way in. We currently have 78 players registered. Um, for 25, uh, 25 seat guaranteed. So, um, yeah. It's it's uh, due to start at twelve. Sorry, excuse me, two o one. Um, so we're gonna get rolling in a in a minute here. Table just popped up. So let's switch the uh, let's switch the window capture here. Might have to do some adjusting. Oop. And there we are. We will move this back into view. All right, and we're off. Just a little adjustment on the fly there, but we should be good. Okay. It is, of course, Sunday afternoon on the East Coast. Um, so we are uh, keeping an eye on our red zone. Our Patriots... I don't talk too much about sports on here, but our Patriots, uh, actually, they're not playing today, but they, <laughs> I don't know what to say. They, um, I don't know if they um, hurt their hurt themselves or helped themselves by winning on Thursday against Pittsburgh. I was rooting for them to lose, but maybe there's something there with Zappy. I don't think there is, but time will tell. Uh, so we're going to have an eye. Uh, we're going we're gonna to keep an eye on uh, some uh, red zone here. I have a couple parlays going that are probably already already smoke. Okay. Well, we don't have much going for us just yet. Um, I could put the... I, I think I'm going to try... Uh, you might not be able to see it, though. 
Let's see. Nope, that's not good. Anytime you have um, two sources kind of on top of each other, you know, I, I always click on the one I don't want first, like the bigger of the two, if that makes sense. If any of you out there use Streamlabs. Um, okay, five, six off. We have not gotten a hand worth playing yet, but that is okay. Um, All right, got just about the full screen in there so you can see where we stand, what the blinds are, uh, what the next blinds are, next break, all that up in your upper right-hand corner. We are currently 38th out of 105, have not played a hand yet. Which is okay. Um, the main event starts in just under two hours. So hopefully this satellite, I'm pretty sure they designed these, uh, these last minute ones to, um, to end at least a few minutes in advance of the, the main event. Uh, I don't want to be like sitting on the bubble with it with four o'clock hitting and then we get uh, entered late and you just, you want to enter these big events like early, early and get, you know, run up a, run up a stack very quickly. So we should have plenty of time. Have time to kind of refresh after. But let's hope we get there. So we've got uh, so still 25 places paid. We are 37th out of 113, which makes no difference. We haven't played a hand yet. Um, so this is an, it's basically $18 from each player goes to the prize pool. Um, 18, if, and then that's for each 120 excuse me, 162 seats, 162 dollars seats. So that would be a guaranteed $2,916 in the prize pool, which is, that's 25 seats, right? No, wait, no, that's the prize pool. So 18 times nine, six off. We don't have any reason to play this. I have not been paying attention to what's going on at the table. looks like there was just a, a very big pot that went the dealer's way, and uh, we will let him take this one. If Colts just got in the end zone. So if we get to how many players here? 18 to the prize pool. Eighteen to the prize pool times 25, 450. Pl It's 25 seats guaranteed. So what's that? 162 times 25, 4,000. So that's a, so, okay. So that's, so that I was calculating it before. 25 seats times 162, the prize pool is 4,050. So that divided by 18 per player. So 225. So we should expect well over 200 players in this. We're at 114 now. Um, we have an all in here. It's, Unfortunate, we have a live stack there when we actually have some kind of a playable hand. Jacks versus eights, of course, eight on the flop. Oh, here's my spades. Oh, it doesn't matter because it's full house. Um, this is a very fast paced tournament. Uh, six minute blinds. We started with fifteen hundred each. It's now twenty forty. We're at level two. Um, one thing I have criticized Ignition for in the past, um, Ignition slash Bovada, is the um, lack of functionality as far as changing the chips to um, big blinds, uh, changing the stacks to big blinds. I would prefer that. I didn't always, but um, I started to do it, you know, somewhat recently, maybe a year or two ago, started to play it that way. And really that's how you have to do it in um, tourneys. 
uh, cause that's really, that's how you break everything down. It's all by big blind. I don't need to do it in cash, nor does, I don't think anybody technically needs to do it in cash because it really is more about the dollar value. I mean, yeah, you want to think of things in big blinds in certain spots, but cash is cash. The, the money has real value. So sometimes add, adding context of uh, the dollar amounts when it comes to like how other players, how your opponents might be thinking about the hand and how you might think about the hand, um, that comes into play. Because, it, for example, in a 5-10 no limit game, you might see um, big blind, or you might see an opening to 30, anywhere from 30, 40, 50, you know, three, four, five times a big blind. Pretty standard play. Where one, two, no limit, you might see a standard open to somewhere between eight and 12, maybe even 15 for deeper stack games, which is like four to seven X roughly, um, which you don't see at other levels, but it's like, who, who wants to race to six? I mean, it, it happens. There are tables I've been on where that does happen. Six, seven, sometimes you get a hand like a suited connector or middle pocket pair where you want a lot of players in the hand. You might make a smaller open, get a bunch of collars. Okay. I was just about to say we need to start doing something here, uh, but this will be good. This will be a good way to do that. Let's do our best to... I want to make it a little bit bigger. I want to try to get somebody who is getting either impatient or wants to make a move or is just here to steam off $20 and see if they kind of catch lightning in a bottle. Um, don't really have any live stacks in play. I mean, you know, this guy just got busted by jacks. He might be uh, just a, a busted with his jacks by eights. Nope. We have action. Um, I think I want to de-incentivize a call here, make it a little bit bigger, like three quarters pot, and he folds. Okay. That's not bad. We'll take that. We need chips. That's the name of the game here is to get chips. And we can get chips here with tens. Um, okay. <sighs> I don't love just calling. I think this has to be a three bet. Um, 144, uh, 44, 444. I think that's fine. And I think if we get jammed on, I think we got to consider calling off. We I I really don't want this to be um a quick one. I mean it'll make an interesting thirteen minute vlog. We could fire off two bullets in this. Okay. Well we're call getting yeah, we have to call here. King Queen, keep it low. Keep them lower. Lower, 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 lower. <sighs> that would have been nice. I hate tens. I hate, hate tens in tournaments. I absolutely despise tens. Yeah. I don't love tens because you just, you get, you, there's so many hands out there that are just full of overcards, so many Broadway combos that, that, um, that you're going to be up against that just have a chance against you. You can't call with them. You can't just call and see what comes on the flop because there's going to be an overcard and you're going to get a, end up getting blown off your equity ba um, by any, any holding, especially if you're out of position. Um, you know, you get, and then you get called, you, you get someone who's just steaming with, with King queen off. I knew it. I knew it too. He was still peeved about those uh, jacks getting cracked by eights. So he just saw King queen. Was he, was he suited? player 106 uh king queen no he, he was off suit because the queen in his hand was a was a heart um yeah and then that was a king of clubs on the river he had king queen off you know you know no disrespect no disrespect to the guy I had he's got what 20 bigs left he wants to play he's wearing a turbo you know we're basically what amounts to a hyper um six minute bigs he's, he wants to get in there uh i don't blame him you know it's too bad 
because it you know queen queen hands like queen jack are are racing with you you know it's a coin flip so you know if you pick off somebody even if you pick off somebody with playing like queen jack of hearts who jam open jams and you call with tens you're still not like that far ahead so yeah that's my that's my spiel on tens um so where are we we're at uh we're at um okay one player 106 is just entering entering everything here which may be the strategy i don't know uh so we're at 30 60 next blinds are 50 100 um i don't know if it's worth it i plan to buy into the main event anyway i really don't know if it's worth it to try to fire off another bullet if we get to 50 100 you know 15 bigs like yeah i could try to double up all right well we just make the equity play here I thought about betting out pot and just trying to take it, but we just, we have a, I, we bet pot, the button jams. What do we do? Maybe I'm thinking about it that too negatively. So as you can see, we're in for about $120 on this uh, on this quest. Um, uh, lost 100 playing cash. We're trying to win enough cash to cover a seat in a satellite, at least a seat. Didn't happen. Probably should have just left the game down like 20 bucks, maybe 30. 20, we'll say. But queens came upon us and uh we thought it might be good for the vlog to get it in there like of course we were up against kings and in hindsight as i thought about that play um a little more and more it, it was as soon as i said it too do we do it for the vlog like i should have just said you know what I, I think we're beat here i could have in hindsight i could have um just called there was a king on the flop um which i, I mean if we assume our opponent would have checked Okay, we got like 12 bigs here. We have ace 10 off, so we kind of need to see. We really need to start thinking about getting it in. We only have the next level starts in two, just over two minutes. Um, I, but we are on the button. We've got, a th I mean, and we'll have just under 10 bigs when the blinds go up next level. We're up against a min, kind of a min click here. I don't know if ace 10 is quite strong enough. I'm going to let it go. I thought I, I getting it in there might be the play. I didn't study my push fold charts coming in. Well, we avoid that. I would probably beat. I would like this tournament to move a little bit faster <laughs> as far as gameplay. Not necessarily the blinds. That's that is what it is. Gameplay could be a little bit faster just to get more hands in because right now I'm in shove mode. Um, I'm you know we got twelve bigs. I like to really look for shoving hands and I mean under multi in multi table tournaments I like to look for hands to to shove um, at fifteen blinds or less. It'll get respected a little bit more. I say respected in air quotes. I, I don't like to throw that term out, but yeah, you know, it gets respected a little bit more. You don't get just caught, snapped off. Um, and if you double, then you have close to 30 big blinds or 25 to 30 big blinds, and now you can play some cards. Where if you, I mean, there's, I've seen it more and more recently where I see a lot of players just let their stack dwindle down to like five bigs. Um, I'm, maybe the thought behind it is you just want to. You don't want to just, you want to wait for a quality hand to do it. And once if, if once you lose, you're out. So would you rather go in with a mediocre hand like Jack-9 suited um, with 15 big blinds? Or would you rather wait for a hand like 
tens, we'll say. Um, nines or tens when you have five big blinds. I don't know. I mean, if you wait till you're down to five big blinds and you pick up nines or tens, okay, then you got ten big blinds. You still got to shove, but I guess you keep yourself in it versus, you know, going in with a suited connector or hand like sixes with fifteen big blinds. I thought the next blind fifty a hundred. Did I not see that? I mean, it's fine. Sixty one twenty. We're still. It's we have now. Yeah. So now we have six. We have six big. So, so what I was just talking about, I let myself, um, I left myself the window a little bit. I honestly didn't. I didn't even see what if we would have won the ace ten hand. Oh well, here we go. Speaking, yeah. What it was just sixty one twenty. What was that all about? Did it did? Do we not see that? We'll have to review the tape. Why was that? Why did that happen? Did I miss something? I mean, it's fine. We were not involved in the hand. Did not affect us whatsoever. But this this is now with seven, just over seven bigs. Now we have to play, go all in with ace-10 off. Um, and I, 115 big blinds. I am not going to fire off another bullet. Um, I'm going to buy into it anyway if we don't get it. Oops, all in. Yep, we got to make this happen now. I, in a way, I hope somebody has a hand like king queen suited now um if we get called we might not be good but you know eights nines sevens eights nines probably would would call if they have a lot of chips well here well, different guy it's not the same players before same seat but all right oh stay away clubs <laughs> yep and that's how it goes um we are not going to. We're not going to. Um, we're not going to rebuy. We're just going to take our lumps there. Um, <laughs> we got it in good twice. I can't say I played it. I would play it any better or worse or differently or, I. Uh, what do you? What do you? You know? What can you do? You get it in with the best of it. That's what happens. So, sorry for the short saddie. But uh, part two is done. When we see you next time, we will be going, we'll be buying our way into the 162, uh, 200K guaranteed. Um, so we'll see you then. But until then, don't uh, remember, don't get mad, get even. Thanks for watching.